branches off and dance in my long shirt tail all night, honey. Dance in my long shirt tail. Oh, me, oh, my. What's gonna become of me, poor boy? What's gonna become of me? Going up north. I learned this piece of music from a recording of a gentleman named John Jackson. And you can find John Jackson and a lot of other great music on a very important album that's called Black Banjo Songsters of North Carolina and Virginia. And I believe that's on the uh, Folkways, Smithsonian Folkways record label. So, okay, first thing we got to do is get our instrument in tune. I'm in standard tuning. I'm in uh, G, D, G, B, D but I'm dropped one full step lower, so it's F, C, F, A, C. I'll put that information in the uh, description below. Um, so let's jump in and do the close-up first. So the song starts with a slide. You're going to note the third string at the second fret and you're going to slide down. And then you're going to slide back up, play the third string open, and then slide back down. That gives you I'm going up north and then do it again. I'm going to throw my britches and then you're going to go into this little chord right here. I'll try to show you all without scraping this holly bush. So to make that little minor chord, I've taken my ring finger and I'm noting the first string at the first fret. Taking my middle finger, I'm noting the bass string at the second fret. Gonna throw my britches off. Then you're gonna do a slide again. And dance in my. So uh, to get and dance in my, you're gonna. So uh, kind of what I'm doing there, I'm doing, I do some sort of tricky stuff there. I do a, an open string pull off that I throw in there, but y'all don't work on that if you want until it comes naturally to you. But so, and dancing my long shirt tail all night, honey dancing my long shirt tail. It's a tricky little thing right there. Um, so basically you're doing a slide and then you can either alternate pluck or you can actually pick that string with your right hand. The first string. Then you're going to note the third string at the second fret. Then note, play it open. Then you're going to note your bass string at the second. Then I do a hammer on the bass. Followed by an open third string. Back into the slide. So it's, it gets a little weird in there. That is probably the most complicated part and it's very difficult to verbalize. If you uh, learn by uh, tablature a lot better, I will put a link either here <laughs> or here. I'm sorry, I can't remember where the link goes. I think it goes here. Um, I will put a link up to uh, the, the tabs for this. And if you sign up for our Patreon group, it's patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks. It's only $2 a month and you get the tabs for all this and you get access to the community. We've got well over 900 members there. It's pretty boisterous at times. Um, so anyhow, so now for the B part of the song, which is much easier. Um, the B part is really, you're just 
you are sliding on the bass string from the second to the fifth to get oh and then slide back up me and then do it again whoa and back up again my and then back into your little slide pattern i can't get no letter from my home poor boy i can't get no letter from my home very simple so this can be a very simple song you don't need to do all this the fancy stuff that i've thrown into it and you still can pull together a great version uh one thing i will note too if you already play a song called uh, keep my skillet good and greasy um Oh, uh, uh, keep my skillet good and greasy all the time, time, time. Keep my skillet good and greasy all the time. They're very similar songs. They probably started out as the same as the same song. So if you already play Keep My Skillet Good and Greasy, um, you're in luck because you already know half of this song. Um, I guess I showed you everything I needed to do there. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. If y'all want to help me out, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And the best thing you can do is to share this with some friends of yours who are uh, interested in the banjo or interested in uh, American history, uh, people who may be learning the instrument. Okay, thanks a lot.